I don't know who needs to hear this, but if marriage is not for you and you want to start a life with your best friend, f***ing do it! After 11 years of friendship and 5 years of long distance, she moved across the world in the middle of a pandemic so we could start a life together. This is for everyone who believes that their soulmate is their best friend. We're platonic, platonic life partners. <laughs> we're not lovers. And we're not just roommates. And essentially what we are is best friends with a commitment similar to marriage. So what this means is we are domestic and financial partners. We co-parent our cat together, <laughs> we live together. And we are currently looking into any options for us to be legally recognized as each other's first of kin. So the overlap between BFFs and life partners is where we lie, platonic life partners. So it shares similar traits to marriage in the sense of financial and domestic partnership, starting a family together, just without the sex. Almost half of our friendship has been long distance, uh, with me being in LA and Renee being in Singapore. Until 2020 when the pandemic hit and we ended up spending almost every day on FaceTime together and distance had never really bothered us before, but we realized we just wanted to spend the mundane moments together because we made the mundane moments magical. Our friendship outlasted like every single one of our romantic relationships and we were never really interested in marriage in the traditional sense. So we decided not to wait around for like some hypothetical one yeah. um, because we already had such a fulfilling and empowering partnership between the both of us. I think society has romanticized the idea of the one and that this one person can be your everything, but we just think that that's a lot of pressure to put on one person. <laughs> and the reason why we shared our story in the first place wasn't to give people another variation of the one to now go search for, but rather to pursue the connections that most empower them, that makes them feel the best, even if it's not the norm, you know? Dressing our sleeping arrangements because everyone wants to know if we share a bed. This is my bed and sleeping area and Renee's corner is over here. We often get comments like these. This is all based on the assumption that romantic love is somehow greater than platonic love always. And that is simply not the experience that we have. One of the most common questions that we get is what happens when one of you falls in love. So the surprising thing even to both of us is that our platonic life partnership has made us better romantic partners to the people that we date. <laughs> because we've already found life companionship with each other, we can actually let romantic connections go at their own natural pace and not try to guide it towards the default next step toward marriage. We put our partnership over everyone else, including romantic partners. This is honestly the most stable and fulfilling relationship that we've had. Now our next step is to get a joint credit card together and hopefully down the line get a, a bigger apartment. Preferably with doors. <laughs> Preferably with doors yeah. and adopt a new cat. We just think that your life partner doesn't also have to be your lover. Yeah, and in our case it just happened to be a friend. <laughs>